subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! What's up guys, it's Monday. We're on the rain because it is raining outside. Raining cats and dogs. So it is deadlift day today. What have you got today? Something big and sexy. See what happens, eh? See what happens, good. Put weight on a bar and pull it. That's what Dan said, see what happens in the plan. So that's what Tom is following. And we also have the Mulligans are up for two weeks. And Mr. Miyagi, Dan himself, is up. He's up for the full week with us. Swipe on, wipe off. <laughs> so we're going to be filming with Dan all this week. He's got some tips and tricks for us. Harry's in the back room. Our long lost brother. <laughs> he, got, he got kidnapped and I had to pay to get him back, so he's back. Yes! Let's go deadlift. He pulled, when he was pulling heavy, 60 kilos. Moved like it was nothing. Yeah. But he moved it as if it was heavy. In the grand scheme of things, with change your technique close to worlds. Yeah. So yeah. every rep you're doing wants to be that makes sense. as good as it can be. Yeah. deadlift's looking yeah really good um obviously last time i was up changed some technique stuff and there's not a huge amount of time until world so just need to make sure every rep is how it should be regardless of the weight really pull it with the same intensity and same form don't move your head through the lift How's everything feel? Fine. If it feels fine, take a bigger jump. Absolutely. If we're, you know, thinking about worlds, you've got yeah. Oh, yeah. limited warm up and. So, we do a 270. Yeah, pull that for a single. Yeah. And then see how it moves. Are you mirroring, bro? Yeah, it's, it's good to actually be behind the scenes and uh, listen to Dan. See his pointers and stuff, his tips and tricks. Kind of wish I was training today, but I already I just trained, so um, I'm just watching. Nice. And maybe a three twenty. Yeah. Uh, for some reps, maybe yeah, see. Say something that happens. So stop saying it. Trying, stop. Say stop it. saying it. Stop. Yeah. Stop vocalising it. If that's in your head, leave it in your head. As soon as you start saying something, like you did with a Hercules hold for, uh, it's going, and then you let it go, then it will go. Right. You've not got a lot of weeks left to world's strongest man. Think about why you're doing this. Who you're doing it for. Do it for yourself and strap in and fuck you ball. <coughs> nice smooth work. Another one there. Have a couple. 
your breaths. Do not stop pulling until it's locked out. Don't try and hitch, don't do anything weird. Just f***ing deadlift. Just stand up. Get it done. Big brace. Let's go. It was the best deadlifts I've felt in a while. <laughs> so it was good. I needed that, so. Was that the heaviest you've done in a while? Yeah, I felt like there's more weight there, but it's good. How do you think Luke's deadlifts went? Yeah, really good. I'm really happy with Luke's pull. Uh, like we were saying before, we changed his technique not that long ago, and it's quite a big risk to do before World's Strongest Man, but it seems to have gone really well. His pull looks lovely, nice and strong, plenty of reps. They look good though, man. Yeah, no, I was. I think learning how you're going to do for reps yeah. is what you need to do. Because if it'd be a minute, 75 seconds. Yeah. So you can afford to either think of it as sets of three. Yeah. Or think of it as singles, mm -hmm. but you've got to make that call. Yeah. You know, what feels better for you mentally going in. You know how to stay this time. It's easy way to stop, come on. Let's stay out of time, come on. Come on now, Tom. Let's get it. There you go, come on. No one has that, Tom. Come on. That's what we do, suffer. You would. Oh. You watch that back when you went to get it again. It didn't even, it touched the ground and it kind of bounced and then you tried to pull it. Yeah, that's just, I just, as I say, I can't, I just can't get used to the pull again, you know. Right, take some weight off. I'm trying to pull. I know if, it might be negative, but I know if I can pull or not, you know, like. But what about last week when you pulled 383? Yeah, because that was, yeah, but I was meant to pull it like six, seven times and I felt I wasn't in position anyone, every bar was away from me every time. So what do you need to do then if the bar's away from you? Get tighter, but I just can. Like, you can, you know you can. Well, take some weight off, yeah. let's nail your technique. Because you've got stronger. Like the way you're squatting, like we can, we've done it with other lifts. You kept telling me that you'd not be good at log and you did 190 for a triple. There's not many other people in the world who were doing that. One of them sat there. We'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Let's not, let's not think about what you can't do. You know how to deadlift, we're in a gym. Let's sort it out. I'm up here for a week, we'll go back to basics, get a nice solid pull. Because when your deadlift's good, it's fucking amazing. So take some weight off. Deadlift it like it's heavy. Like put aggression in, rip it off the floor. I want you to try and hit me with the bar, with your glutes, fire the bar forward. More. What he's gonna do with that then, you Come here. You can pull a bar. Pull. When it's been heavy, you've pulled with aggression, man. You know how to deadlift. Maybe we'll push your big toe down. Big brace. Rip it off the floor. You can pull that. There we go. See the aggression, Paul. There. Pull it 100%. It doesn't matter what the bar, what's on the bar. Pull it as hard as you can pull. Doesn't mean snatch it. Get that smooth transition. But pull it like it's the heaviest thing in the world. Put all of your power into it. Do one more rep. Make it look effortless. There we go. You know if you tell yourself to do stuff, you can achieve anything. Like you've proved that through this whole prep. Like you've told me stuff you can't do and you've not done it. You've told me you're coming in to smash a session. You've done the best stone set that anyone's ever done. 
You've I'll done go back, I'll go one back. of the best log sets that anyone's ever done. I'll go back to 260 and see. And yeah. Just want to see how everything still fire. Big brace, nice smooth pull off the floor, loads of aggression. You're not getting into the bar. You know what Dan says when he said to me, when I'm up, like, you're, you're starting, you're pulling, you're here. You need to fucking get into it, take the tension out, fucking get that fucking glutes firing. You're not, you're not pulling it from here, that's where you're pulling it from, but you're, you're there. You're all hunched over like that. You know how, you know how to do it, Tom. But that's why it's like, Barbell training, you know, like when I've done that so before. But you're stronger. You are stronger. Yeah, but it's just, let's like, see, I'm automatically. I think I'm swinging right, but I don't think my hips are up. But it's just that's what I'm saying. I can. That's what I'm saying with a lighter weight. Like it's all right for other people, but yeah, I I can't. Like, I can pull 170 like that all day long, and then maybe like, that look good. Got a 300, and my hips will come back up. But what do you know? Like you, the things that you know, like concrete thinking. You know that if your form is good, you've got a really good deadlift. Let's just, I would say, just try one more, right? And just, no, don't say it's pointless. Remember, when you speak about something and be negative, then, then it is going to be negative, right? If, so in your, in your thinking, right, you're, you're saying because of the axle, you can't deadlift in that. So if we put that weight on an axle, then in theory, you should be able to smash that out in an axle. Because it was you that said to me, if your fucking shins are bleeding, that's a good bar path. Like, do you know what I mean? That's what you said to me. So when I'm bleeding, like, fucking hell, I'm doing a good session. I'm fucking smashing it. You know, so that, my 320 felt good because of what you said to me, because of my shins bleeding. So have that in your head, keep that bar nice and tight to you, keep those hips nice and tight down, and then lift. Okay, I know it's really hard for you, Tom, but try and block out that stuff that you're thinking about the axle and stuff. We'll get the bar in the right position, and when you feel tight, then explode. If you don't feel tight, stand up. Yeah because it's not going to help you because you're just drilling in it not going well. But strap him, get set, mm. we'll get the bar in the right place, get a good brace, and then when you feel tight, then pull. Get tight. Far closer. There we go. Get tight. Even sitting down feels absolute. Feels unbelievable, you can't that way. Like usually things click, like I can feel my lats getting engaged, hamstrings engaged, nothing's engaging. My lower back's engaging, which is a bad thing, you know. Like, even when I'm like this, my lats are nothing, and it's just, everything's just in my lower back. Like you're 380 for three, who's doing that? Like at the moment, who's doing that? Yeah, I know, but 380 for three. It means nothing for worlds, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, it wasn't much. If, I, if, if it was me doing 380 for three, I'd be walking in the worlds, big dick swinging, like, what are you saying? I'm coming in, 350's nothing, I'll do 20 reps of that. That's what I'd be feeling. You so, can't do that, man. Like, <laughs> if it means nothing, Jesus, Tom, fuck off. <laughs> that was the deadlift, mate. I didn't even do a deadlift. That was crap, man. Um, Hopefully the week before I go out to Worlds I'll get good. It's the only thing that's struggling which is annoying because usually I'm good, you know. I keep saying I can't do this, can't do that, but um, my head works differently. I'm getting fired a lot of instructions and a lot of different people and it's just, when, you, when, I'm do, when I did Axel for like eight to 10 weeks, I'm still in that form for Axel and like I'm feeling deadlift in places I shouldn't be feeling like biceps, lower back, which I've never really felt deadlift before. I just can't generate power off the ground, which is frustrating me big time. That's the, bit, that's the most worried thing for me, because it's in the qualifier and it's in the final, so I just need to get my head into it. I've done 380 for threes and then three sets of five at 350s, you know, the last few weeks, but I don't know what it was this week. Um, but it is what it is really, you know. Um, hopefully, something clicks next week. Last deadlift session, it works, but 
it's just annoying, you know, because everything else is going good. Like right now, if someone asked me would I rather squats or deadlift in the, in the world, I'd say squats, uh, which is a kind of thing that I've never really said before. But, you know, I've had some bad squat sessions, bad stone sessions, but it's just kind of moving on from this and getting on with it. Boy, how did you uh, think Tom got on with his deadlifts? Uh, yeah, not the best he's ever done, but, you know, he's in a position where his bad deadlift sessions are still pretty good. A few things to work on. I think, you know, we're getting close to worlds and pushing things really hard. Generally, he's getting a lot stronger and after a deload, his deadlift will be flying again. So it'll be sorted. Is there anything you're going to change over the week or? Uh, we're going to add in um, some lat work, um, a bit of extra back stuff. I think sort of reminding Tom that he's one of the strongest men in the world is going to have a bigger effect than any exercise we really put in. So just more lat work, whatever he fancies, but getting things switched on, getting things firing well. Hey guys, that is our deadlifts done. Big Tommy, one of those days for Tom. Maybe just a bit too much going on. I'm sure deadlifts won't be an issue for Tom come Worlds. He's, he is one of the best deadlifts, deadlifters in the world. I mean, just back at Britain's, he kept that with Adam Bishop for reps. So Tom's head's just going probably overdrive at the moment. And it's one of those things, but that's why we are a team. We've got Dan here, um, so we'll work through it. Um, next week is a new week for Tom. For me, I, I felt good, 320 for five there, that's the heaviest I've been. So we're gonna go on to our accessories now. Outside, so we're not doing hurt these. Instead, we're going to hang, make ourselves longer, and do it for grip. Sunshine is now out, so we could have done Hercules, but never mind. Um, that is our training session done. Monday, deadlifts, some accessories, learnt a few things, I think. Uh, we, well, Tom needs to throw in a few more accessories to get his, his back firing, his lats um, uh, firing a little bit more. So that's good, Dan's going to throw that in for us. A decent session for me, you weren't. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, just one of those. So. But saying that, last week you had one of your heaviest training weeks that you've ever done, so obviously that's going to have a knock-on effect, an adverse effect. But it is what it is, we did it, we hit today, Monday's done, we've got a wee swim later on. Big shout out to the Mulligans again for inspiring change. If this video inspired change in yourself, comment below. And if we've inspired change, comment below. Let us know what we've inspired change in your life. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. <laughs> so guys, it's uh, Tuesday and as you see my Monday deadlift session didn't go very well so I'm back down with Dan to kind of go back in and get my deadlifts back to where it is because I know I'm one of the best deadlifts in the world but I think just the last few weeks my head's gone all loopy loopy with the axle and stuff so yes, we're going to try and get it back to, back to normal. Yeah. yeah, I mean last night me and Luke watched uh, Scotland's Strongest Man 2019 where Tom pulled a really quick 420, had a go at a thousand pounds and 
sort of cemented himself as this phenomenal deadlifter, but some technique changes were made that didn't need to be made, I think is how I will say that. Yeah, I mean, it's was, it was more like when you were up that with Luke, you know, like, obviously with autism, Dan told Luke to jump off a bench, and I was like, I'm just going to try that for the crack, and that was the worst thing I could ever do, because I could deadlift, but just because it was new, and I yeah. thought it was not going to affect my mind, it's not going to do nothing, literally, I couldn't deadlift for the last two hours. I could deadlift, but not properly, so when you have Luke, and Dan and then some camera people, you know, like usually I listen to Luke, but now when Dan's up, I need to listen to him. So Dan could say like pull and be aggressive or be aggressive. Luke could say pull. And those words are two different words, which then gets me lost as well. Luke was saying, get your hips down, you know, and then I was trying to deadlift with low hips. Whereas when you see me deadlifting, I'm a bit higher, aren't I? Yeah. You know? And when, I, when people say get hips down, I'm automatically right, right. I need to get my ass, my, sorry my bottom to the ground so you know it's just all those things that were stupid but I've had one meal and hopefully I can pull sat in a region of 300 plus you know and just yeah, get yeah. confident again because you know yesterday was a session that Simon could have probably done so you know <laughs> so let's go see what happens eh come on then strong pill top So Dan, was that a bit better then? Yeah, uh, you seem to remember that you're one of the best deadlifters in the world yeah. and hitting 350 for five reps at 9am and one meal after deadlifting yesterday, so it shows that... Yeah, and it's not even with like the pre-gym meals or nothing, it was just, yeah. like I said to Nathan last night, I'm going in with Dan to really trying to do my deadlift. The thing is with me as well, this is a really big learning curve because I've never ever been aggressive for every single session so to try and change my mindset from only being aggressive on storms when I'm training and event stuff to then try and being aggressive every day I'm training it can fatigue your mind big time you know and yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah, don't understand that it thinks it's just physically you're just going to get battered but mentally for me mentally I get drained more than I do physically and that was it last night you know I went in last week had a massive week, week of training training hit some big numbers and then Monday came and I think I just let everything get on top of me and I felt f mentally fatigued. So I kind of recharged last night, went and did cold therapy, had a good sleep. Like I said, just came in, me and Dan, no cameras, nobody else. And just, he just let me deadlift how I deadlift. He didn't say, do this, do that. He was just literally, bang, deadlifting like I know how I usually do. And it's back to normal. So yeah, it's, it's a good, good, good session. Feeling. It's a really good mindset now to have because I know now that I can deadlift. I'm yeah. not weak. I've and been saying going to you for, for weeks yeah, yeah. you've got stronger you know you've got stronger because what you've done on log, what you've done on stone, it's uh, yeah, what I've done on everything. Like I said, it's all mental for me. Like it was with the Hercules, as you guys have seen as well. Like I said, my left hand goes, and what happens? Yeah. It goes. I said I can't deadlift. What happens? I can't deadlift. <laughs> It'll be like I couldn't do stone lift, but then I can stone. So it's just getting that negativity out of me. And I'm glad I'm doing it now instead of being at Worlds or yeah, when I'm by myself. I'm going to be at Worlds myself for 10 days. Not with Dan, not with Sinead. Luke's his own athlete. You know, he does what he does. I do what I do. So if I have a negative attitude going over there, that's a very, very bad place to be. You know, I'm usually positive 90% of the time. So I can get it nailed here and have Dan and, you know, be yeah, negative man. here. It's a better place to be. So yeah, I'm happy. Gonna go home to sleep and uh, we'll see you soon. Hope you guys didn't laugh too much at my uh, Monday session. I hope you enjoyed the <laughs> Tuesday one better. You can laugh and put what you want in your comments, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay spicy.